the VW Crafter. One vehicle, extremely many uses. And next to the flatbed, the van is the perennial favorite. There are three different wheelbases, front, rear, or all-wheel drive. Early morning, 6.30 in Almeria in southern Spain, in the paprika and tomato plantation of the Salinas family. The first tomato order of the day must be loaded. The company uses the VW Crafter as a pickup. Adelina is co-founder of the company, and the company ZOI focuses on the sustainable production of vegetables. We are at Zoe, we are a family company. Actually, we are two of my brothers and myself who started with this uh, business. We are producers of tomatoes and peppers. That's what we are specialized in. The special thing about Almeria is our climate and the conditions that we have to grow all kinds of vegetables. Because the company wants to deliver the goods to the customer during 24 hours from harvest, the transport must happen quickly. But before that, the bees are hard at work as well. We don't use chemicals like uh, to fertilize. I don't know if you see the buzz, this buzz. These are in the boxes that are hanging in there. There are bees. So with bees is how we fertilize the plants. So there are the bees going from brown plant to the other. So we don't use fert. Like a tomato's got, in Almeria, it's got as the same flavor and very good flavor and the good mm, condition and characteristics as if you plant them in your house. Back to the crafter. After being built for almost 10 years together with the Mercedes Sprinter at the Daimler plant in Dusseldorf, Volkswagen Nutzfahrzeuge or commercial vehicles, is relying on a group-owned successor in 2016. The fourth-generation Crafter is being built in a factory in Poland, specially constructed for it. In the Polish town of Rechnia, about 300 kilometers west of the capital Warsaw, the subsidiary of the Volkswagen Group officially opened the plant in autumn 2016. The Crafter facility was built in a record construction time of just two years. For us today really is an emotional day and we really are satisfied for one day. And tomorrow we will continue again, because we still have a lot of work ahead of us. Now all the derivatives are coming, lots of challenges. This is German quality work. This is VW. This is VW quality running here off the production line. We have proved this for years with the Caddy and we will also do so with the Crafter. The area covers about 220 hectares. That's as much as 300 football pitches together. At full capacity, up to 3,000 employees work there. Up to 100,000 crafters are expected to come off the production lines here every year. And to achieve this, the car makers of Volkswagen are focusing on innovations. We are now in the newly built assembly hall here in Vrashnya. We are building the new Volkswagen Crafter here. And now we are in section number two, which is the only assembly line in the Volkswagen group where the cars move transversely because the dimensions of individual vehicles are so large. The largest variant is 7.2 meters long. The production line runs here transversely, so to not only save time, but also space. There is nothing like it in any factory of the VW Group. Here, an optional universal floor is mounted, and with it, customers can customize the crafter to their liking. And just a few meters away, workers prepare the engine for the next assembly step.
Azochia, and we are in the firework form. Here we are in the chassis pre-assembly in the so-called wedding phase. There, the body is connected from above to the entire chassis from below. In automobile language, it is the wedding. We permanently connect two important parts of the vehicle, powertrains and the body. Even if the wedding takes place with all motorized vehicles, the craft of production is still special because up to 69 different models of the transporter run on this production band. For the Caddy, for example, there are only four. Today is a very big milestone for us. We have a lot of work behind us. Build a factory, build a new car in many variants. We established this segment with a commercial transporter 40 years ago. We have a long history. Already in the 1950s, it became clear that the VW transporter, the Bully, cannot handle the heavy tasks alone. And that's why Volkswagen decided to build a truck. The LT1 is introduced in 1975 and quickly gained popularity amongst craftsmen, construction workers, and co. The second generation of the LT is presented in 1996. In addition to the higher payload, VW especially improves the comfort for the driver. By the end of production in 2006, a total of more than 300,000 units were produced. In 2006, Volkswagen opens a new chapter. The LT is now called Crafter. In addition to the new name, there is a new production facility. Together with the Mercedes Sprinter, the Crafter runs off the line for almost 10 years at the Daimler plant in Dusseldorf. In the new engine and transmission, the two manufacturers rely on their own products. Otherwise, all components are the same. The cooperation is successful for both. But in 2013, VW decides to go their own way with the next crafter. The fourth generation is completely renewed, although the Crafter remains a representative of the rather disdainful van, but a modern one. The Crafter has a maximum of 18.3 cubic meters of cargo space with a length of 7 meters 40. The 6 meter long version has 11 cubic meters of space. The interior is reminiscent of the VW bus, the T6, the little brother. Here, the combination of practicability and comfort is very well done. The driver's cab is a mobile workstation with countless storage options and numerous interfaces for smartphones or electric tools. The Crafter being tested is the standard model with 140 horsepower and optional four-wheel drive. Back to the vegetable producer in Spain. Up to 180 employees ensure that the products are harvested within 24 hours and delivered to the customer. A transporter with a lot of space is needed. 
We have three main drivetrains in the vehicle. Firstly, a front traverse motorization. In principle, this allows a loader space that is lowered in height. We've lowered the loading edge by 10 centimeters, so one has optimal loadability of the vehicle. There's still a rear-mounted long-distance engine, so a longitudinal-mounted engine with carden shaft that drives the rear wheels. There's now a real 4x4 drive that runs continuously. The front-wheel drive crafter with a payload of 1,453 kilograms has the largest permitted payload among the models. Four Euro pallets fit into the cargo hold. In terms of working for us, it's perfect because we usually don't move more than four pallets. It's fast enough, so I think it's the perfect volume for a, for a lorry. Out of the greenhouse and off onto the street. With 140 horsepower, the two-liter diesel neatly advances. With 340 newton meters of torque, the traction for many transport tasks. The EA288, Nutz, as the engine is called in the VW jargon, always remains discreetly quiet. Another important innovation provides the good driving experience. For the first time in this class, the vehicle has electromechanical steering. This is enormously consumption optimizing. The power support is supplied only when the customer needs it. There are also many possible assistance systems and a fantastic drive feeling, not at all comparable to what we had before. In contrast to the conventional hydraulic steering assistance, the Kraft Electronics and Mechanics work together optimally. Thus, electronic assistance systems such as Automatic Distance Control, ACC, can be integrated. At least as comfortable, the parking assistant, the crafter maneuvers on its own into the parking spaces. The system is definitely helpful with a vehicle length of just under six meters. In leisure time, the crafter can be the right vehicle for sportsmen and women and paraglider pilots. Whether artisan, courier, florist or adventurer, the VW Crafter is a solid, practical and modern van. In Europe, prices for the van start at around 35,000 euros.